Can't believe you want me to eat toilet. So much toilet water. Let's clean this up. Don't be upset. Ooh. Ah, this looks so weird. So big and ugly. Mmm. Mama told me what I should know. Too much candy gonna write your soul. She loves you, let her go Cause love only gets you down Would you buy this for $15? Oh my god, it's melting. This smell like milk. It's not working. Ew. No, it's stuck inside the machine. Because it failed. I know you're somewhere out there. Somewhere far away. I want to Damn, another one. With a smile on my face Add a little bit of spice
An old couple walks into a restaurant, orders one burger, one set of fries, and one drink. The old man splits everything exactly in half and places the drink in the middle of the table. People around them start wondering if they were only able to afford one meal. As the old man begins to eat, a young man walks over to the table and offers to buy them a second meal. The old man replies they're doing just fine because they're used to sharing everything. Other people start to notice the woman had not taken a single bite. The young man once again comes over and offers to buy a second meal. This time the woman replies, no thank you, we're used to sharing everything. After the old man finishes and wipes down his face, the young man comes back and asks, may I ask what you're waiting for? The old woman replies, the teeth. El día ahora compré estos slimes, así que acompáñenme a abrirlos. Vamos a empezar por este que en serio desde que lo vi me llamó mucho, mucho la atención. El color en serio que me encantó de todos los que he tenido, este es mi favorito. De segundo vamos a abrir este slime que parece radiactivo o algo así. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uy. Lo amé. Por último es este slime que se supone que es magnético, así que abramoslo. Vamos a ver si es cierto que es magnético. Estaba probando y literal, miren. No funciona, me estafaron. Candy of the day. The new Warheads Galactic Cubes. First of all, I love the packaging. Looks like it's space themed. Uh, they have three flavors, Cosmic Punch, Rocket Raspberry, and Black Hole Cherry. So, let's see what these are all about. Mmm. Rocket Raspberry, also known. Okay. Really blue mouth. Also known as blue raspberry. That one is great. My fingers are like, you know, when you eat Cheetos. Wow. Check out the shimmer though. That, the shimmer game's strong. It's like sparkly. I would call it galaxy dust because it's space themed, but that's just me coming up with my own term. I don't think I can go out in public anymore because I look like, like this. Hi, I'm Kate. Nice to meet ya. It's too late to turn back now. 7.4. This is so much better than basic candied fruit. Are you guys ready? We have Mango Jolly Ranchers, a $1 wax melt burner, and some green grapes from Aldi, plus some coconut oil that we're going to use to help heat up and liquefy the Jolly Ranchers. This was my first time ever doing this in my life. I'm totally winging it, you guys, and I actually put in way too much coconut oil, so I went ahead and used my little dropper, and it just beautifully separated. Look, we have bubbles. It was still a little too oily there. Also, my grapes were wet. You want to definitely dry off your grapes. The Jolly Rancher will apply and roll so much better. But oh my gosh, mango candied grapes is the best thing ever. And I mean the best thing. I made two batches of these for my kids and my family. Even my husband liked these. I wanted to make some candy spaghetti. I got some hubba bubba bubble tape, an icy squeeze candy, some crybaby bubble gum, and a sneaky stardust blue raspberry. All of the candy is available on our shop. I used the hubba bubba bubble tape as the noodles. I used a pizza cutter to kind of cut the gum in half and create two noodles from each strip. And honestly, it worked out perfect. I think the noodles turned out great. I then used the icy squeeze cherry as kind of like the spaghetti sauce. I started adding noodles and honestly at first it really was not looking like spaghetti noodles at all but after I feel like the finished product it really turned out great. I added more spaghetti sauce and then I used the crybaby bubble gum as the meatballs. I then used the sneaky stardust gum powder as some parmesan cheese and the finished product looks so good I can't wait to try it.